People's gas rates are unaffordable already for so many on the south and west sides of Chicago. The proposed rate hike will hit many families, even whole communities, hard, and these communities are already suffering from generations of environmental and economic injustices. While the proposed order lowers the proposed rate hike from roughly $400 million to $350 million, that would still break the record gas utility rate hike by over $100 million. On behalf of the significant portion of Chicagoans already in debt to people's gas, I am asking you to do more to lower the magnitude of this rate hike. Consider the data from People's Gas September report to your commission. Between 33 and 46 percent of households in the following neighborhoods are in arrears with People's Gas. Inglewood, West Garfield Park, South Shore, Chatham, Auburn Gresham, Woodlawn, South Austin, Roseland, North Kenwood, and Grand Crossing. And that is only as of September, before most people even turned on their heat. The average debt ranges from $600 to $1,000 per household. And this is at current rates. These families are being charged late fees, receiving disconnection notices if they are not already disconnected. How can these families catch up with such debt? More importantly, what does this data tell us, not about these families, but about people's gas? The data tells us that people's gas rates are already too high for a significant portion of working families in our city. This rate hike will not only hit these communities the hardest, but it will exacerbate their frustration and despair and make it even more difficult to rise as other residents and companies like People's Gas flourish all around them. All of the people, the families, and organizations that I represent are asking you to lower the rate hike even more than is currently proposed. People's Gas has profited enough and millions of Chicago residents need relief.